Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. We got a supremely awesome boarding crew and a Vulcan. Now all we need is the power for it. I mean, I could take power out of cloaking boarding and two points out of the engines and still use it, but uh, we're going to become exponentially more awesome the more power we get. The weapon that can win on its own and such a good boarding crew, I get excited. You arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed Engie ship destroying a small pirate craft. Hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I guess we've already got an Engie covered, so... We're gonna take five damage or... yeah. Yeah, it was a trap. We're gonna take five damage. But you see now, the thing here is, uh... We can jump over here and do some serious damage. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that, actually. So we'll have two Mantis in this room. Lockdown. They can't get in here to stop us from breaking the clone bay. And our Mantis will be able to handle anyone who comes in here because they're Mantis. Other Mantis? Doesn't even matter. This is as good as broken. And that also means that they're bad at fixing stuff. And even though we could lose our shields, I can just cloak it. Okay. And we're down to two, so I think it would be better to go into a big room, because I think they're going to follow us. Right? Right. And now nobody's in danger of dying. And they're fighting like they have a clone bay, even though they don't. With the crew dead, you're able to take the fuel out of storage. Sweet. And now for the healing up process. If only we had a four room med bay. The dreams. I don't actually need that much power. Ooh, there's two more points. Put both of those in there. We have one floating power. Soon to be two. Aisha. So she's next. Perfect. And let's see if we can get like 40 more scrap. This must be one of the Rebels' unmanned scout ships. Looks like there's no way around to fight. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. It's gonna get away, and it also has cloaking. I don't want to take the power out of there, though. I'm gonna take it out of here. I don't need this. Cloak the first one. If I cloak the first one, I can take the power out of that. Okay. Power into the Vulcan. Then I'm going to take this out of there, put that in there, just to help us with this a little bit. We're going to cloak this, and we actually did dodge it. I'm going to shoot there. We'll hopefully slow them down a little bit. Good. I'll shoot here next, just so that it takes even longer and we kind of buffer these out. There goes the oxygen. Oh, and the doors are still broken. Right. That was a thing. You two slowly fix this since we're not boarding them anyway? Yeah, that sounds alright. That was shot, so that should slow them down. I'm not going to be able to cloak immediately yet. Unfortunately, their cloaking's throwing me off. Dang, I need the doors to be fixed. This isn't a fire that one person can put out. This is going to shoot their cloaking. This is going to shoot their there. And then this is just going to keep shooting here until they die. We're going to lose our evasion. But we're going to open these doors and those doors. In fact, you guys come over here. Maybe this will drain out a little faster. The ship breaks apart, and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Fire's begun. Perfect. Giles, you actually took some damage. Put that in there, put that in there. No reason to put points into anything else. Working towards ghouls. That, that, and then you two should be okay at it. Are you two hurt at all? Nope, okay. So these three are the ones that need to be in the med bay. Perfect, you guys go now. 
you'll heal up, then I can just return everybody to their positions. Everything, I should have fixed that. That was careless. But we're going to manage. I'll take that out of there, put that back in that. And that's enough. We just need one more to keep the teleporter also running. A small military craft hails you, and a mantis captain appears on your receiver. All local human colonies have been punished for the Federation's transgressions. Submit to processing. I'm going to shoot your evasion. And just keep leveling up, uh, our angry person over here, who's already a good pilot. So I'm going to take power out of probably not oxygen because of how low oxygen these rooms were. Why don't I open all the doors just to stabilize that? I'm, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take one power out of here, actually. Evasion isn't important here because they can't hurt us with these weapons. And then I'm going to teleport into here like a madman. And Rebecca's going to lock down. I don't care that you have Mantis. I'm only going to fight two. I decide how many people I fight at once. And you can't run to the med bay. I like this even more than four Mantis. This is awesome. Um, no, you're not running away. With the crew dead, you're able to take fuel out of storage. Oh, that's right. We have a scrap recovery arm, too. Rebecca and Johnson and Vivimord. Couple more points of power just so that I can leave them in here. Why not? I mean, we could go for triple shield soon, and you could always use a couple more points of evasion. But what I wanted was two wind conditions, and we have them now. The boarding is going to be super awesome. And the Vulcan can win single-handedly. You're immediately hailed by an impressive-looking Mantis ship. Your ship would make a mighty fine prize. Prepare for battle. Going to keep shooting the evasion. Going to teleport over. Oh, there's two people in here. I guess I'll just have to lock down. I love that this regenerates on FTL jumps, too. Oh, now where's the third member of your crew? Leveling up to green. They'll also be able to sm- what? Oh. How about you come over here? Let me close the doors. He broke my teleporter. I can't get it. You know, wait, no. He's in there. You guys, go fight. Beat him up. I just gotta make sure the Vulcan doesn't kill this. Break this ship. You know what? You guys, scale up off this. Break other parts of their ship. Why not? I'm sure you could do it. And you guys are going to lock this down so that they can't stop you. And I'm watching the health of the ship. Yeah, and I'm watching the health of the ship. Alright, everybody, we're going to get back into one room again. You can stop firing now. And, yeah, just go kill him. 44. With no crew on board, you're free to salvage what you can from the remains. How many of y'all thought I was going to blow them up and ruin everything again? I know there was at least one of you. Anyway, I mean, I guess my track record is not the greatest, but still. We fixed stuff. Everybody back to positions. I'm upgrading the doors once, and the sensors once. Why not? Those seem like cheap things that I should have had by now. So, Rebecca and Johnson and Vivamore can go into here. What? We're still in Sector 3. That's great. I could totally make another jump after this. Nearby sun, huh? You arrive to find yourself extremely close to a star. You receive a message from a pirate ship. I'm glad your ship arrived. Ours is damaged. And we teleported to the worst place possible, and we're going into a room that can't save us. Okay, I'm glad that you guys aren't a threat. Everybody back to your positions. We're just going to ignore them. How about you, uh, come down over here? Denied! I can already jump away. I'm just waiting for you guys to suffocate. It's on you. No actual reason to go there, then, actually. We're gonna get out of here. We lost a fuel out of that, but, I mean, it's not like we don't have 20 more. The rebels in this system are doing supply runs for the local space stations. These civilians have likely been out of supply for months. We gotta attack them. 
Okay, so Vulcan's going to attack the weapons, because missiles are problems. And we're going to teleport into the middle. They only have a crew of three people. Hmm, being able to see inside their ship. Safety. Do they have a med bay or anything? No. I'm going to lock it down anyway, just because I can. Loving the dodge up here. That totally should have hit me. I didn't... I forgot the cloak. Hmm, with the rebel crew dead, you stripped their ship for equipment. They had already made their delivery to the civilians. Ah, leave them alone. Before your FTL drive charges, you receive a hail. My son was on that ship. He only helped the rebels because they cared enough to help us. Without him to find us supplies, we'll likely be forgotten and die out here. You kidding me? I didn't rob you guys and you're still mad? Well, he chose the wrong side. Even if he was forced into it. He was forced into the wrong side. Try and be a good person, Gad. Abandoned sector sounds worse for boarding. Rebel controlled sounds like a lot more of the enemy. This sector was hit hard by the rebellion. And we're going to hit it even harder. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to spend on our to speed up our repairs. Yeah, sure. We get 13 out of that. It's not like we're using them anyway. We got one more system and Well, we already have a way to dodge missiles. Maybe we should get mind control. I mean, hacking would make it even easier to board, but I feel like that would kind of align with our uh Crystal power, like, we don't really need it. A small civilian ship flies over as soon as you arrive. You're prepared to fight, but they just inform you they're out of fuel, so you give them fuel, and they upgrade your reactor by one, which was still worth it. You discover a resupply station used by rebels and civilians alike. Hmm. Halberd beams. Fire beams, but without hacking, I have no way to keep the shields down. Unless the Vulcan... Well, I mean, I guess we could teleport over there, crystal the room, and break the shields real quick. But at that same point, fire beams take too long to shoot, and my crew's not immune to fire. It's just not good for this run. I feel like for three power, this is a little inefficient. And as much as I like this, same thing with the shields. Three, four, five, six, seven. What system am I still missing? Shields. So I think what would be most useful... You're already good at shields. And you're good at repairing. Yep, okay. Let's get you up there. Since they're already starting green at shields, it shouldn't take them too long to get to gold. While a human would have done it faster, if this room gets damaged, I would like someone to be able to quickly fix it. So, all four positions are manned and getting the experience they needed, while we have a crew of people who are ready to board should we need them to. Did I have anything I could sell? Nope. I'll take that three. Mmm. Well, that jump would be completely pointless, so I'm gonna jump here, though I don't care too much for nebulas. It's worrying that the rebel the rebels have penetrated so deep into uncharted space, even if it is only an unmanned drone. Scout. Auto surveyor hostile relationship. So I'm gonna try and see if cloaking right now makes me dodge that. Yeah, because even though it makes the noise and it launches this, I think you actually have a second to dodge it with the cloaking. I think when we fight the Rebel flagship, though, I should totally go for their, uh, what's it called? Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Never mind. Vulcan's awesome. But they're cloaking, because that way the Vulcan will rev up faster. It'll be perfect. 41, actually 44. Actually 45. I mathed that wrong. I should have just looked up. We were at zero. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it's impossible to tell what's inside. Hmm. They don't have shields. Should we just attack them? I think we should attack them. If they're guarding it, we're going to get there anyway. Keep shooting their shields. And because of the reactor upgrade, we actually have enough power for everything. 
cloaked. Oh. Well, it's not like you guys are doing anything. Ew. Oh my god, the messes. They're gonna get ahead of us again. Scale up at least? No, wait, Gaz is over here. I was like, yeah, we did it already. No, we're still quite far from that. Yeah, the problem with that is because it's going to get through their shields eventually, while the Vulcan fires really fast and makes us go up quick, we kill them too fast. Investigate the station. The station was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems. Cool. Pippa, look. What a good pilot you are. Healed. Double upgraded. And now we have the triple shields, should we need them. I'm gonna try and navigate out of here. It's hard to see why, but this beacon was apparently a tourist destination. Seven fuel for two missiles? I don't even use missiles. Getting some good deals. Could use to repair some, though. While we are very powerful, we're also very low on health. We found you at last. Prepare to die. Two burst laser twos. Ooh. I'm glad we upgraded our doors once. This will do much for us. I'm going to teleport in here. And then I'm going to lock it down and break it immediately. They're not going to teleport over here. They're going to waste all their time trying to break that. And we are going to quickly smash these. While we skill up to prepare for them getting into here. Green fighter, green fighter, gold fighter, gold fighter. So the mantis are the only ones that need to skill up. And they're quite good at that. You don't get to fire anything. Completely broken by the time they get in here. They don't have a med bay or a clone bay. So they're just going to sit in here and die. Why don't you fire on the shields? Or the whatever. 54. Actually 59. I like it when it goes that smoothly. So you in here, and Johnson in here, and Rebecca in here. Two more points in that means triple shields are now fully functional. Double upgrading the medbay could be nice soon. But we also need more points in evasion. I think I'm going to do the evasion thing next. We'll have very solid defenses at that point. A small rebel ship is docked at a small station. You try to lay low, but it spots you. Power up weapons. Going to keep shooting here. And we're going to teleport into here. No med bay or anything, so they should just stay here and die. We're gonna cloak that. And kill them before too much happens. 40, actually 44. Nice and quick. Johnson, Vivamord. One into that, 20 more. I like getting upgrades all at once. I think that's why I end up upgrading the system before I actually get the power to use it most of the time. Which is probably stupid, but eh. I think it's more fun to get a noticeable difference. The ship is powering up its FTL drive. We should probably stop it from doing that then. And we'll take a point of power to there and put it into there, I guess. I don't believe they're going to be able... Well, actually, they have double shields. <clears throat> If our Vulcan can't charge up fast enough, there's not really anything we can do. With a 20 second cooldown on this, I mean, I guess they might be able to do it, but I'm not going to risk two rock people, because if they teleport over there and the ship leaves, that's all she wrote. Do it! Start firing faster. There we go. Jump imminent! You missed! Aw, oh, dude, you're fired! What are you even doing? The one time you could have stopped that. Oh well, I mean, we still got skill up stuff out of that. A small rebel research station overlooks a pulsating star. Before you can react, a rebel ship spots you and moves into attack. So we're gonna disable the weapons if we can, because this is gonna knock down the shields. I'm gonna teleport over. Um, over here. Not to the room that's getting shot. And they shouldn't try and leave anyway, but... 
Cloaked! Hey! Now that their ship has been emptied of hostiles, you search it. Eventually, you find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. However, I've got two people on the repair team. I don't need any more Mantis. The human's gonna learn things faster, too. AJ Hager, I'm sorry. It's not us, it's you. Alright. Pivamord, Johnson, and Rebecca. Doing that healing thing. Ooh, asteroids. You were having an asteroid belt to discover the Rebel Automated Scout. Somehow hasn't been destroyed by the asteroids yet. You prepare to watch it be destroyed by asteroids. Dang, that got us down to single shields? Yeah, I'm gonna put that in there. Actually, no, I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah, them actually healing up is kind of important. Yeah, they're pretty much getting destroyed. I guess I might as well get the skill ups out of it. I mean, they can't even cloak now. So much red and orange over here. Are you almost- yeah, we're almost green. That'll make a big difference. An extra 5%. If we get some automated reloaders too, that might be sweet as well. Yeah, let's just go for the exit. I don't think we're gonna be able to get another jump out of that. Hmm, another rebel checkpoint. We have to attack them. I'm gonna... Do I even need... Like, we're gonna kill them. We're going to kill them before this gets much. I'm just gonna have this shoot here. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. They don't have a med bay or anything, so they're just gonna die. I can cloak the missiles. Keep firing. Get to green. 58, actually 63. Coming back. You guys go heal up. And I think I'm pretty safe to upgrade each of these just in case. And we'll pick up more power and that. And, um... One more point in this. So now the engines are good. Take that out of there just to bump this up faster. So we should be able to heal up quicker. Take both of those out. Put that in there. Put that in there. Everything is as powered as it needs to be. Zotan controlled. Rock home worlds. I, I'm, I just, I have to. We have to try. I think this, uh, this ship would look awfully nice and green. Ouch. Uh, two pirates. Fuel supply or ammunition? I think we're gonna go for the fuel. I don't need that much power. I just need my shields, and, um, uh, let's put some power in oxygen, too. Oxygen's kind of important. Oh, miscalculation! They weren't all in there yet. They don't have a door system. You can't catch me. I am unstoppable. Just give me ten more seconds. I'm gonna get him over there. You'll never catch me! No. I wish you had a four-person room teleport. Zoltans, we'll fight two on one down here. Yeah, we got this. Boom. And I don't want you to die when that person explodes, so... Did you see that? They tried to explode on him. Poor Vivamord. Somebody in here? Oh! Actually, some buddies are in here. Hmm. Are they leaving the med bay? No, there's still one in there. They need to heal up real quick and then get out. Dang it! Alright, you try to leave? Perfect. I'm gonna have... Which one are you? You're Rebecca. Lock it down, break this. Okay, good. And you're split over here, too. Lock it down, kill him. Yes. Okay. Take one power out of this, put this in here. Weapons are gonna get wrecked. I'm gonna cloak this. You need to run. We'll worry about that stuff later. I'm disabling their weapons faster than they can fix them. I'm gonna teleport people back and have them heal up. She's gonna do lots of awful things to them. I'm glad we don't need as much power. 
That's broken, and they're gold. I'm teleporting you out. Is your power back? Oh, if I could get them to run around in circles like this, and then get them out of the med bay so that I could break the med bay? You're prioritizing that, aren't you? I'm gonna break this. You two go in here and heal. I'm gonna take power out of that, since this stuff's broken anyway. We'll double pump that. Are you coming in here? You're really gonna let me break the only thing that's stopping me from killing you? Okay. So, you two can do that, and then come back in here. They have nowhere to run to, so they're just gonna die. With the ship in one piece, we get 67 scrap. That had to get a little more interesting than normal. Probably be... I mean, mostly because I kinda screwed that up, but, uh... It's more interesting when I make mistakes, right? No? Okay. Fixed! Aisha and Firidheem. Also fixed. Take both of those out, put those into there, and we can start doing some more crazy jumping. You come to a quiet part of Zoltan space, and encounter an ancient Zoltan wise man who has managed to harness the power of a spatial rift, but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Choose your doom, he demands. This is all part of a day's work. Mantis Slugger Rockman, I don't want to get mind controlled. Mantis would board me just as I would them. Rockman will probably have missiles, though. Eh, let's just go for Mantis. Yeah, let's go for Mantis. Then I'm gonna teleport over here and ruin their day. Ruin it! Teleport into here. Oh, okay. Good luck breaking that in time. Yeah, and I'm just gonna lock this down real quick. Killing the two of them. Now we're gonna stop them. Thankfully that missed. I was way too slow. We're gonna come in here and break this. Where are you gonna go? Oh... I don't think so. This is gonna be broken. In fact, you're just going to be dead. 50. When he sees you have emerged victorious, the Zoltan Wise Man enters a rage. Rifts threaten to tear space apart until, instead, the Zoltan implodes, sending a blast wave of scrap and salvage dragged here from distant worlds in your direction. Wow, we're loaded. Yeah, I'm gonna bring everybody back. And then these two are gonna heal up, and I think we're gonna call it a day. Is there a store? Well, we were going to, but then there was a store. So let me check the store first. 200 scrap is an appropriate amount to shop. Antibio beams! Oh, I love antibio beams! Having two of these at the same time is amazing. An automated reloader! That sounds perfect for a Vulcan. Getting it firing faster is like... You know what? It overlaps with our abilities, but I think it overlaps in a way that kind of complements it. As awesome as drone control is, hacking would use less drone parts, which we have less of. You know what? I'm going to get hacking. This is going to be our final system. We're going to be able to lock people out of rooms, and this is going to help with the boarding. I'm not doing it necessarily. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I'm trying to kill their crew for the most part, I think I could maybe maybe get an anti-bio beam. Because I have a way of keeping the shields down. If I knock the shields down, the anti-bio beam will help laser their crew. Hmm. But th this would only be useful against the Rebel flagship. Like, seriously, like... Ah! I no, you know, no, I want it. I want it. And we repaired. If I want it, why am I even thinking about it? Let's just do it. I don't know how this is going to work out, but it should. I can see it working. We did things today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.